Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuei, joined by Carolina Sofia. We're looking at Minakshi. I thought that was going to say Minakashi. Minakshi Sundarashwar. Official trailer with Samuel Hotra. Oh, that's fun. And Abhimanyu Dasani. Netflix India is the channel that this trailer hails from. So you guys, if you haven't already, get your Netflix subscription so you can watch this. It comes out November the 5th, only on Netflix. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Also, Carolina Sofia, she's got an Instagram account, finally. Right? I know. I know you've been all waiting for that. <laughs> Why should we consider you? I'm because I'm an engineer. And engineers make the best husbands. How? We don't give up that easily. Engineering hoya relationships. Ek bar decide kar liya to pura karta hai. I'd like to know the qualifications and ambitions of my interviewer. I want to work at a small firm where I can make a big difference. Rather than working at a big firm where I make no difference. प्रभु सुंदरेश्वर स्वयं मीनाक्षी का हाथ मांगने आए हैं इनकी शादी तो हो चुकी है सालों पहले सुंदर वो हम सब से बहुत अलग है सच बोल देना कि मुझे घर का बिजनेस करने में शर्म आती है अलग है सुहाग रात वाले दिन हल्दी वाला दूध क्यों पीते हैं जो चीज हमें करनी चाहिए उस चीज को अच्छे से करने के लिए ये चीज दी जाती है जॉब मिल गई बैंगलोर में अभी कितना टाइम है हमारे पास स्टेशन पहुँचने को पाँच घंटे दो घंटे के लिए पैकिंग करता हूँ फिर तीन घंटे के लिए तुम्हारे पास आ जाता हूँ सुंदर सुंदर इस कंपनी में कोई गड़बड़ निकली ना मैं तुझे कान पकड़कर बैंगलोर से खींच कर लाऊंगा तो फैक्ट इज की ना मैं मथुरा आ सकता हूँ ना तुम्हें बैंगलोर बुला सकता हूँ तुम्हें कुछ करना है अपनी लाइफ में अपने दम पे सुंदर इफ इट्स बेटर फॉर यू इट्स बेटर फॉर अस क्यूट लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस रिलेशनशिप्स आर हार्ड बड़ा ही गंदा फील हो रहा है सुंदर मुझे बैंगलोर आके ऐसा लगा शायद मैं तुम्हें जानती ही नहीं मुझे मधुरा की एक लॉस मेकिंग कंपनी समझ लेना जिसे तुम्हारे पेशेंस और सपोर्ट की जरूरत है बचाओ ना सुंदर <laughs> that Awkward. was very, very, very unexpected ending there. The resolution of this looks slightly different. I can't tell if it's just me. It's not like a square like old movies, but it's a, it doesn't seem to be as wide. That's why I was trying to look up the resolution, but it oh, doesn't yeah. seem to say it anywhere. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, like see, look at full screen. It, yeah. just, it just doesn't, it's not as wide. I guess I'm just not used to that because with Netflix films, they usually make it more widescreen, like mm -hmm. two, three, five, but I guess this is just more 16, nine, which is standard for you know, your standard TV, your standard widescreen TV. Anyway, this is about a long distance relationship. In real life, I would never agree to it. But for a film, I would totally agree to it. 100%. You know, for me, I'm I, I'm kind of that hopeless romantic or hopeful romantic, as it were. Okay, did you watch Marriage Story, the movie? Okay, well, spoiler alert, it doesn't end well, okay? It ends, I mean, it ends well, depending on your perspective, because it ends in a divorce. It's not a marriage story, it's a divorce story. That's what I like to say. And so I, I was mad about the ending, a char liked it. I hated the ending because they ended up as friends and I wanted them to end up back together. I know what breakups look like in real life, okay? I don't need to watch a movie about it. I want to see a story where people manage to work it out. I kind of hate that. I love when the main character dies. I love when different relationships die because you always expect them to end happy. I don't. So Not in the, two, not in the 2020s. So, I mean, I guess, but I kind of like it when they end. Like, have you seen The Breakup? The movie The Breakup? Yeah, I hated the ending. Oh my God. That's yeah. kind of how I knew that I needed to get out of a relationship. I watched that and I was like, mm. This is gonna be us in a few years. Well, anyway, I think you can know that without the movie at some point. You'll figure it no, out. No, the like, movie really helped. Okay. <laughs> I was very mad. Sometimes you need to see that. 
I was mad about the movie. I mean, I was mad about the movie because it lived up to its name. So it can't win. It's like if it's not a happy ending, get away. Like, because the breakup yeah. ends with the breakup. The marriage story ends with a breakup. They end up as friends, and that's the silver lining. That's the hope. So here we have two people who are miles and miles apart because of circumstances. And I think that a lot of people in our audience, or, or at least people I've spoken to, can relate to this kind of thing where you know you get married to someone, then you end up taking this job that is like a million miles away. There are so many Indians I've spoken to who have who've had to go abroad to Japan or the States or to Canada, wherever, to take a job that is paying very, very well. And it's not just Indians. I feel like a lot, a lot of people all over the world end yeah. up having to take jobs elsewhere. And it's just to like help support the family back home and whatnot. And so here, the challenge is that you're so far apart. It's like at a certain point, you run out of conversations to have over the internet. It's like, how do you maintain that for such a long period of time? That's what I was gonna ask you. So there's no way you would ever do that. The last time I attempted that a little bit, it ended horribly. I won't ever, ever, ever do that again. I tried it out in 2016, the summer of 2016, and it, it just like, it just got frustrating. And so it's just more and more synonyms for the word frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> you know? How long was the um, long distance it's period? Just, like just the summer. Oh, okay. But damn. But like it was, the thing is, we had been talking up to the summer. Yeah. And then the summer happened and it was really nice. And then when I went back home, it just fell apart. A lot of it had to do with the fact that she was kind of traveling around and going mm -hmm. to, from. I don't want to say where she went to, but anyway, yeah, I don't do long distance. Yeah. Jabby doesn't do long distance. Just like Joey doesn't share food, Jabby doesn't do long distance. Just, I, th no. I think I could only do it if it were like, if I knew it's for a certain amount of time. Like if you're like, I need to leave for a year, that's still hard, but it's, it's too much. But if you tell yeah. me like indefinitely, I'm going to take a job for the family. It's like how that's. Yeah. Yeah, that's never gonna work. If you leave for a week, it might be too much. <laughs> okay, I'm well, just kidding. I'm kidding. Careful, ladies. I'm kidding. <laughs> Jabby's a little crazy. I'm just, I'm just joking. No, but like I've had I've had girlfriends who had to leave for like a month or six weeks or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then you know it, that's tough. That it is tough. I had to leave once for a summer, and I think it was easier for me because I was the one having all the fun. But yeah. when you're the one at home, when the other person's experiencing something new, it's probably even harder yeah i've had like three girlfriends have to take like long vacations and it's like oh god it's like it's just a month in the grand scheme of things or two months yeah. even but it's like that it feels so long when you're going through it if you're so used to spending time with them yeah right the way this story is painting it out you can kind of see the trajectory of it and they ended the trailer in a particular way to make you really wonder if it's going to work out, especially at the very end when they tried to hold hands and someone pulled their hand away. Mm -hmm. I think I think it was Sonia Malhotra pulled her hand away. I love her. She's awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited to watch her in this. I think they're going to end up together. It does seem like it would go that direction, but who knows? I mean, that's, that's the only thing that's like you don't know for sure. And that's the one thing that's getting you to watch this, right? And beyond it being relatable for a lot of the people in the audience is that you don't know for certain if they're gonna end up together. But I mean, I, I guess if I were to put money on it, I would hope that they would have to end up together. That's what I, I would wanna see. I wanna see people able to work things out and be happy. That's what I want from this movie. I know that I just said that I typically like it when it's a, a sad ending or something unexpected, but this was cute. I, I could tell from just even the movie that I'm gonna feel all the feels. I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna be sad, I'm gonna cry, yeah. I'm gonna laugh. Yeah. So hopefully it ends with a nice bow on top. You know, I've never done that role playing thing with the costumes. I'm too self-conscious, I think. And I, this is coming from a dude who acts. For, like, I, <laughs> like I do acting for a living in addition to YouTube. And so it's just like, well, but I know it's you. I know you're not a cop. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, apparently, Carolina, Carolina Sophia. Has I'm just quiet. All right, then. I'd love to hear those stories off camera. So, what was I, I never say? said there are any to share. I forgot what I was going to say. Now I got distracted thinking about you in a cop outfit. Um, All right, we're moving on. A long time ago, I saw this uh, doc. I, for, forgive me for those of you who have heard this. A long time ago, I saw this documentary called 49 and Up, and they updated every seven years. They've been tracking these these people since they were babies, basically. And every seven years, they document them, just kind of give you an update of what's going on in their lives. And it's really, really neat to see these people age over the course of each documentary. They, they put out a new one every seven years, like I said. And so there's like 63 and up, and then eventually there'll be 71 and up, or whatever the number is. Mm -hmm. 63 plus 7, I think, is 71, right? So. No, it's not. Mm, 70 and up. 70. They were following this guy who was in a marriage and he was like, I think that we're going to end. It's it's on the rocks. We're just going to get divorced soon. It's over. It's over. Like, he seemed really committed to the idea that to it was divorce. just yeah. over. And they caught up with him seven years later 
and he was happy and they didn't they didn't get divorced they managed to work it out they went to couples counseling or something and they managed to stay married and their marriage improved dramatically and i'm like that's awesome that is and, amazing and that's what i want to see it's like I, I want things to give me hope because there's enough dire shit in the world especially on youtube you know the, you turn on the news like i watch phil defranco every day and it's like oh my god the world's falling we're, we're, the world's going straight to hell in a handbasket, as, as the saying goes. And so, I, you know, I, I see enough negative stuff. And I think that for each one of us, you know, you experience negative things on a daily basis. Not like all day long, mm -hmm. but, you know, sometimes you're in traffic. Damn it. You know, you, you hate your boss. Whatever the case may be, right? I just, I like this. I like that it's hopeful. So it looks, it looks hopeful. I know. I'm, I'm happy. This if, is a good one to watch. If they end with them breaking up. You're I'm, gonna cry. I might be mad. I'm, I might just rage quit and write Karan Johar a really nasty letter. So, uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. I'm Jabby Koei. This is... Carolina Sofia. Peace out.